Welcome back to the Java programming series and today we will understand how to write down the program to check given number is divisible by 5 or not. So again we don't have to make a mistake here to solve the program as a whole. So we will try to solve the program by breaking down our program into the smaller pieces. So let's assume that I don't know how to solve this program but based on the program definition whatever information I am getting I'll just try to write down into the program. So let's try to identify the input. So what are the input required in this program? So you can see we have to check given number is divisible by 5 or not. So definitely we required one number as an input, right? So let me just take any number. Let's say integer number is equal to 12. Perfect. So now let's identify what are the output required in this program. So we just need to check this number is divisible by 5 or not. So we just need to print if this number is divisible or not divisible, right? So we just have a two output, either it's a divisible or not divisible. So we have identified what are the inputs required and what are the output we needed, right? So now based on the output, we can able to understand that based on the condition, we have to print either divisible or not divisible. So we know that whenever we want to check the condition in Java, we are using the if statement, right? So let me just write down the if statement. So if here, I will just write down the condition, but at this moment, I don't know what is the condition I have to write. So I'll just keep this blank, opening curly bracket, closing curly bracket. And I'll also write down the else part because I have to print one of the output. Okay. I don't have to print the both the output anytime, right? Perfect. So now we just have to focus on the condition. So we have to write down the condition where if this condition is true, then it will print divisible, right? If this condition is false, then it will print not divisible, right? So again, here you have to understand your thought process. Okay. Forget about Java. Take an example of number 12. So try to think, is it divisible by 5? Definitely your answer is no, right? Now analyze your thought process how you got the answer that 12 is not divisible by 5. So definitely you divided 12 with the 5, right? And you can't divide because you are getting some reminder, right? So do we have anything in Java which will help you to check the reminder of the number? Yes, we have a modulo operator, right? So we will just try to check if the number modulo 5 and we will just try to check if we are getting the reminder 0, that means the number is completely divisible by 5 then we will just try to print number is divisible and if this condition is false i will try to print it's not divisible right so i'm just checking the reminder if we are getting the reminder zero when we try to divide the number with the phi then the number is divisible right and if we are not getting the reminder zero then number is not divisible perfect so let's try to check this program with the input 12 perfect let's run this uh, run as java application Perfect. It's not divisible. Let's try to solve with the number 10. It's divisible. Perfect. Let's try to solve with the number 45. Okay. Let's try to run the program and it's a divisible. Perfect. So I hope you are clear now how to start the program and how to solve the program step by step. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any comments regarding this video, try to write down into the comment section. Thanks everyone and we'll see you into the next video.